What's up YouTube? It's Master Aquatics and I'm bringing you guys another video. Today I wanted to talk about this dual 20 gallon wood tank stand that I just ordered from Amazon. I've been meaning to get one of these for a while but this thing didn't really have too many reviews so I wanted to try this out, see how good it is and make my own little review on this product. So we have the box here. Now it's really not that big so I'm gonna assume that it does not come prepared. So I think I'm going to have to set this up. So I'm going to go ahead and start opening it and see what parts are in there. Alright guys, so I finally got the box untaped up. It had a lot of tape on it, I guess for extra security. We're going to go ahead now and start taking off the plastic and the foam. Alright. So we got here bolts, screws, and nuts and a red bag. It also comes here with some instructions, so this is going to be good because I'm going to need to know how to do this. Okay guys, so here are all of the contents from the box. So these are all the pieces. I was expecting a lot more, but it's actually, there's not too many pieces here. and You can kind of figure out without looking at the instructions what goes with what, but I'm going to look at the instructions because I know I'm clumsy and I overlook stuff all the time. I just emptied out the contents in the red bag and this is what it came with. Um, I was really happy to see this because I don't have to look for tools or anything like that. Um, that piece of tool will work with all of these nuts and bolts. Um, I'm just not sure what these are, but that's why I'm going to look at the instructions here in a second to kind of figure out what goes with what. But I just wanted to show you guys everything that it came in the box that comes in the box, which is this stuff right here and these bolts and tools and that. Okay guys, so I just got done setting up the stand and I love the way it looks. But I was a little disappointed in the fact that I can't put two 20 gallons on this because that's what I thought this was. But regardless, it's way better than what I had this tank on. Um, I really like the wood finish on it. I like the color and the texture. Um, it's very classy and it matches uh, the stand for my 125 gallon tank. Um, nonetheless, um, like I said, it just looks a whole lot better than what I used to have it on. Let me show you guys what I used to have it on. So this is what I used to have it on and uh, I'm still going to use this stand but this is going to be for my other 20 gallon tank. This one is good too because it has lots of space to store stuff in here. So it's very convenient. Okay guys, so setting up this 20 gallon tank with this stand, I decided to also grab some stuff for this 20 gallon tank. Let's go ahead and open up this box and see what I got. Okay, so with this 20 gallon tank, I went ahead and I got a AquaClear filter. I use AquaClear hang on the back filters for all my tanks. I also use canister filters and sponge filters. Links are in the description for all of these items in this video if you guys are interested. I also got this UniC Life air pump. I like these because they're really quiet and they have a knob that you can adjust. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and take this out of the box and show you guys just how quiet it is. Okay guys, I'm just going to go ahead and plug it in. Alright guys, so I just plugged it in. And I can barely hear this thing, like this thing is so quiet. Now that knob that I was talking about is right here. It's a circle knob. And I just, I'm turning it down now. Now you can't even hear it, right? All right, so I'm gonna turn it up. All the, I'm gonna turn it all the way up, okay guys? So it's all the way up. That's as loud as it's gonna be. So it's really quiet. Someone please tell me what this is. Hold on. What is that? Someone please tell me what that is. I was, this was an empty tank, and I just saw this. This is so freakishly looking. What is that? Is that a baby shrimp or a bug? I don't know. There wasn't supposed to be life in here. What? Okay, I don't know where that thing went. Hold on. Let's... There it is. What is that? Is that a mosquito larvae? I don't think so. I mean, it's February. There shouldn't be mosquitoes in here. 
I don't know. That's that's weird looking. But the filter is going to kill that, hopefully. Alright guys, so here is a 20 gallon tank. I believe this is a 20 gallon tall. I got two sponge filters in there and an aqua clear hang on the back filter. And this is the stand. Uh, that scratch is on my tank, not on the stand. So it did not come in like that. So, I mean, this is an old tank. Um, it's not like 100% level with my tank but I mean that doesn't mean anything I'm just pointing that out just because it's why not why shouldn't I point that out because it is look um, at least not with my 20 gallon tank and it comes with a a shelf that you can attach in the middle so you can put stuff on here I have an air pump here this is providing air for the sponge filters which is causing them to release bubbles and there's another bottom part here where you can put more stuff here like fish food fish medications plant fertilizers whatever you need everything you need for an aquarium you can put that here if you need to so I did have feeders in the 20 gallon tank I decided to move the rest of them here in the 125 gallon tank they are going to be eaten in the next few days by my fish that are in here um, I'll give you guys an update on the fish in 125 gallon tank pretty soon but on Amazon it said that this was made by Petco and it was shipped from Petco so I mean I gotta give them props where it's due this is a pretty good stand but then again this is the first day of me using the stand out of the box it's good to me but you know of course I will be letting you guys no down the road I'll give updates and tell you guys you know if it's durable if it's long-lasting if it's worth the money you know after reading the instructions I understood how to set it up I feel like anybody could do it it's not too hard uh, the tools are already provided to you uh, it comes with everything that you need you just gotta make sure that you have a uh, level surface when you're setting up the stand sorry I wasn't able to get footage of me actually setting it up um, I really just wanted to do like a quick review not necessarily a how-to um, but uh, and plus you know it didn't really again it didn't really take me that long to set it up um, I just feel like it's so easy um, it wasn't really worth getting the footage of me doing it but just follow the instructions that's all I can say so if you enjoyed this video or if you have gotten this stand what is your opinion on this stand let me know if you like it my name is Master Aquatics and I'll see you guys in the next video take care and bye bye